Hi, I'm Dilara and I'm studying English and German at the University of Stuttgart. Hi, my name is Felicia and I study linguistics at the University of Stuttgart. Hey, my name is Omar and I study automotive engineering at the University of Stuttgart. In this video, we want to give you some additional information on the life in Stuttgart, as well as some insider tips with our favorite places in town. In Germany, we have four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter, whereby rain falls throughout the year. So make sure to pack a rain jacket. In spring, the temperature can change a lot. There can be warmer days, but there also tend to be colder days, which is why it's best to wear layers in spring. Summers in Stuttgart can be very warm and humid, and there are only a few places that offer air conditioning. And we also usually don't have air conditioning in our apartments. So make sure to pack t-shirts, shorts, your sunglasses and swimwear. The warm weather usually continues into September when autumn starts. In October, temperatures start to drop and you can gradually feel winter coming. Winters in Stuttgart tend to get quite cold and sometimes even windy. Over the past couple of years, there hasn't been a lot of snow in Stuttgart. However, in the region surrounding Stuttgart, you can definitely go skiing in winter. For winter, make sure to pack warmer clothes as well as a warm thick jacket, gloves, a hat and a scarf. Of course, you can also always buy your clothes here in Stuttgart. We have a big shopping mall called Königstraße, which is located within the city center, as well as our big shopping mall called Milaneo, where you will find a lot of different clothing stores that offer affordable clothes. If you're looking for affordable furniture, household items and bedding, you can go to IKEA, which is close to Stuttgart, or you can always try to find used items online on websites such as eBay Kleinanzeigen or on Facebook. For your first days in Stuttgart, make sure to carry enough cash. Cash is still widely used in Germany and credit cards don't get accepted everywhere or there's a minimum purchase. And also a euro might come in handy if you want to get a trolley for your luggage. For currency exchange, rates are high at the airport, so you might want to wait for that until you have a German bank account. For food, there is one cafeteria on each campus with reasonably priced dishes. Nearby Campus Stadt Mitte, there are plenty of restaurants and supermarkets. But for Campus Feingen, there is far less to choose between and you might have to drive further or you can cook at home, which is the cheapest version. If you want, you can try Swabian dishes, for example, Spätzle or the Swabian dumplings called Mauertaschen. If you decide to go to a restaurant, remember that water is not included in your order. You have to order separately. Here's another tip. It might be practical to invest in a reusable water bottle that you can just take along with you because the tap water quality in Germany is very high. So just save yourself some money and refill your bottle wherever you go. There is a system in Germany for returning bottles, not only because of environmental reasons, but also for economical reasons. For that, you pay more at the checkout. And if you return the bottles, you will get the deposit back. If you're not sure which bottle is returnable, you can find on the bill how much and for what you paid the deposit. On disposable bottles, you can find this sign. Glass bottles are usually returnable. Besides bottles, beverage racks are returnable too. By the way, many events have their own deposit system. For example, at Christmas markets, the cups come with a deposit, but they do great as a cheap and popular souvenir as well. Please remember that the prices in the store don't include the deposit. While you stay in Germany, you probably want to discover as many places as possible. Not only for traveling around, but also for your daily journeys, there are many ways to travel. Every bigger city in Germany has a well-structured public transportation system. For long travel distance, note that the price depends on how long you book in advance and how flexible you are. For example, a trip to Berlin may cost 15 or 90 euro, even for the exactly same connection. However, besides the usual public transportation, there are alternatives like taxi. But taxis in Germany are by far much more expensive. Instead, there are car sharing and scooter sharing opportunities. Depending on the provider and where you accomplish your driver license, the registration may be complicated. My favorite place in Stuttgart is the Ulanshöhe, a hill located on the eastern edge of the city center. I really just love it there because you can chill with your friends on a bench or have a picnic on the grass while enjoying the beautiful view over Stuttgart. One of my favorite places in Stuttgart is Marienplatz. It's a really cool and urban place to hang out with your friends. There are so many restaurants and bars around and you can enjoy great ice cream there. My favorite spot in Stuttgart is the Bärensee, a lake which is surrounded by the Pfaffenwald. You can reach it by a 10 to 15 minute walk 
through the forest, which is perfect for a run, for other outdoor activities, or just to ha hang around with friends and enjoy the weather. We are looking forward to welcome you in Stuttgart. <laughs> 